All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Do we have any adjustments to the agenda tonight? We just have a couple of recognitions that will be added to the mock trial team and the presidential scholar, which was not on the original one, I don't think. Okay. We also, I think, have a letter we want to send to the state legislature. Okay. If you could add that. So we will add that um, under um, new business. We'll do item F. Anything else? Mary? I'm going to pull um, policy JLCA for first reading because we haven't finished with it. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Anyone else? No. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we will move on with um, approval of school board minutes. Uh, We'll start with the regular meeting, Tuesday, April 12, 2011. Do I have a motion for that? Michael. Uh, I move that we approve the uh, school board minutes uh, from the Tuesday, April 12, 2011 regular meeting. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Kathy? Any discussion? All those in favor? All right, and we'll move on to the minutes from the special business meeting, Tuesday, April 26th, um, 2011. Do I have a motion, please? I move for the approval of the minutes from the special business meeting, Tuesday, April 26, 2011. And a second. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. All right. Great. Thank you. Um, let's move on to comments by student reps. Do we have any student representatives here? Oh, I Hi, I'm Gabby. And I'm Eva, and we're representatives of the Middle School Student Council. Firstly, 8th grade's Project Citizen was recently completed. Project Citizen is a very long, in-depth group project on an important topic such as bullying, drugs, and alcohol abuse. Well, everyone did a great job. Last week, the 6th graders went to Chewaukee. They had a blast. There were a few storms, but mostly it was sunny. Um, recently, go well, going on right now is the NWAs. Right now they're going smoothly. This week was 7th, last 8th, and next 6th. In a few weeks, the 5th graders are going to Boston to do the Freedom Trip. Also, they will be taking a field trip to GMRI. Um, May 13th is Teacher Appreciation Day, and many classes are doing projects for their teachers. Also, the band and chorus concerts are coming up. Band, 7th and 8th grade band is May 17th, and 5th through 8th grade chorus is May 18th. Upcoming events. May 30th is Memorial Day. Due to that, we have no school. June 3rd is the 8th grade barbecue. June 4th, Arts Night and see Pasta with a Purpose. June 7th is Step Up Day. June 14th is 8th grade celebration. June 17th, school is out half day. Thank you and good night. Thank you, ladies. Um, I do not see our high school students here, so... Um, we will move on to comments from the public on agenda items. Are there any comments from the public on items that are on the agenda? Seeing none, um, we will move on to recognition. And we have some um, really um, interesting items here. Uh, could we start with Noelle Webster, please? Hello, Noelle. Uh, <laughs> Um, my name is Noel Webster. Um, I recently got awarded the 
American Vision Medal, and my piece is going to Carnegie Hall, I guess. So, oh, <laughs> here that's it is. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, it's in photography, and I was one of the runners in the state to go on to Carnegie, and I got in. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Well, Noel, Mr. Shedd couldn't be here tonight, but he wrote something that I would like to read. Um, he says, Noel, a junior, is one of Cape Elizabeth High School's most talented, creative young artists. Her art teachers have been incredibly impressed with the growth that she has shown over the past three years, finding and nurturing her artistic voice. Noel entered several works in the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards competition, which is a national competition. Her work received multiple recognitions. Her red photo received a Silver Key Award, as did her charcoal figure studies. Her fireworks photo received an honorable mention, as did her continuous line wire drawing of a girl and another continuous line drawing. Noel's top award was for photograph, stars, stripes, and shadows. That photograph received a gold key award and was nominated for further consideration as an American Vision nominee. Noel's work will be, dis will be on display in the World Financial Center in New York City from June 2nd to the 19th. Noel and her family will be attending a national award ceremony at Carnegie Hall on Tuesday, May 31st. American Vision nominees represent the work of the most creative, most ambitious, and highest achieving young artists in the country. We are proud of Noel for displaying the creativity and artistic passion that has earned her such well-deserved recognition. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. Any comments from the board? No, can you bring the push that? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Get that up. That's it's really, really beautiful. beautiful. Thanks. Congratulations, Thanks. Noel. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> I'm glad we have you for another year. <laughs> we'll see what happens next year. Okay. Our second recognition is. Our Pond Cove Principal for the Day, Julia Trowbridge. <laughs> I'm looking forward, I always look forward to hearing about this. You're good? Okay. She can handle that, I think. Just stand right up there. Want to just do it like that, though? Can we hear from here? If she just stands here? Sure. Okay, you can sure. right there. Want me to start it? Julia dictated some of this to me, so this is her report about, what, can you introduce yourself? This is Julia Trowbridge, she's in first grade in, in Mrs. Hollowell's room. And here's what she wrote today in her computer. I was principal at Pond Cove today. I got to school at, what time did you get to school? 8.30 on the bus? I went to my class first. I asked the custodian to get me a desk for my computer in the principal's office. Then I checked my email. You had some, didn't you? Then I went to class to see if kids liked the new rules, which were chewing gum, wearing hats, you could carry stuffed animals, and you can wear your pajamas. And so could staff members, I wanted to add that. The kids liked the rules, and they asked for longer recess and no homework, and I said, yes. I visited kindergarten, grade one, grade two. I checked to make sure the teachers had their ID cards. Can you show the school board this? If they didn't have their ID cards, she kind of busted them and made them wear a temporary ID. Then I had my snack and recess. I visited grade four and solved a problem in grade three because a teacher needed help with a little unruly classroom, right? They're excited about the stuffed animals. <laughs> I saw the middle school lunch, which was noisier, a little noisier than Pronko's, <laughs> but clean. And I walked through the kitchen and met people in the middle school. When I got back to Pronko, I went to see the afternoon kindergarten classes. Then I checked my email again. The third grade teacher told me the problem was solved. At the end of the day, I made an announcement to the whole school to remind everyone that there's no homework tonight. 
And we heard a cheer go right through the building. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have questions for the principal? Anything? Did you have a good day today? Is that a yes? Yeah. Was it an easier day than yesterday or a harder day? Is it easier to be the principal and be a first grade student? It's easier to be a student. Oh, I would agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Julia, thank you very much for being principal. You did a great job. Congratulations. Anyone thank else? you. Thank you, Julia. Oh, Julia, one more question. Do you, do you think you'd want to be principal when you grow up? <laughs> well, thank you for doing that job. That's a lot of responsibility and administrative organization. It sounds like you did Absolutely. a great job. All right, we will move on. I guess on. it shows, Tom, that you can be replaced by a first grader. Nice job, Julia. Um, we will move on to um, the mock trial team. If they'll come up. Let me read what Mr. Shedd has written here about you guys, and then I'll turn the floor over to you. Um, it's important uh, uh, for him to write this up. He's extremely proud of the accomplishments of this group. Last week, 10 members of the Cape Elizabeth High School mock trial team, which won the state championship, attended the national competition in Phoenix, Arizona. The team, with only one senior competing and featuring several freshmen and sophomores, earned 34th place, a tremendous accomplishment. Our freshmen and sophomore competitors were probably some of the youngest competitors in Phoenix since most schools sent only juniors and seniors to this national event. This year, I had the joy, this is Mr. Shedd talking, of working with and watching the team grow from a group of very raw lawyers and witnesses into a team that well earned the state championship. It is important for the board and community to be aware of the amount of work that went into the preparation of the trial for the national competition. The trial materials, nearly 100 pages in length, were received on April 1st. The competition began six weeks later. In between was the April school break. From April 1st to the competition, the team met nearly 20 hours per week on top of many hours of preparation at home. I want to comment, and this is Mr. Shedd talking, I want to comment on Mary Page's leadership of this team. I have to believe that she probably put in at least 200 hours on this project on top of her day job as a full-time social studies teacher. I was personally unable to keep up with the pace of the practices this spring, having to drop out the last two weeks, leaving school board member David Hillman to help in my absence. Mary's commitment to this team is absolutely incredible, and the growth and talent of these students is fantastic. I'm very proud of them. Those are very kind words. Um, I also want to recognize the attorney coach who's been our lead attorney coach since 2004, um, Dick O'Meara, and he couldn't be here tonight, and he puts in countless hours as well. And Dick accompanied the team along with, um, as did I, to Phoenix. And we had a very enjoyable experience. But I'll let the children, the young people, I should say, um, introduce themselves and tell you what um, roles they had on the team. My name is Chelsea Wynott. I'm a sophomore and I've been on the mock trial team for two years. At Nationals, I did a direct examination, a cross-examination, and I also played the role of a witness. My name is Katie Page and I'm a junior. And along with Emily Muscat, we were the team captains. And we both had directs, crosses, and the, we did the closing arguments. My name is Dorothy Janik. I'm a freshman, and I did a direct examination, a cross-examination, and I was also a witness. My name is Olivia Bayline, and I was a senior. I did a cross-examination, a direct examination, and an opening statement. And one of our team members, Josie Barth, isn't here today. She did a cross-examination and a direct examination. Oh, and an opening. I'm sorry. <laughs> My name is Kevin Hare. I'm a freshman. I kept time because it's a time competition so that trials don't run incredibly long. And also on our team was Will McCarthy, who's a junior, and he played 
two witnesses and